Now available from New Line Home Video. Coming from New Line Home Video. Available for the first time ever on video. The most infamous martial arts action spectacular. Coming from New Line Home Video. Presenting martial arts superstar Sonny Chiba, the chosen successor of Bruce Lee in the original cult classic, The Street Fighter. The New York Post calls Street Fighter the ultimate movie badass with plenty of fancy footwork, gore, and intrigue. Chiba is extraordinary. It's an awesome onslaught of no-holds-barred martial arts mayhem. The Street Fighter Collector's Edition explodes onto video in a deluxe letterbox version at $19.98 or get the full-screen version for just $9.98. Also, never before sold on video, the complete Street Fighter collection, including the original Street Fighter, Return of the Street Fighter, The Street Fighter's Last Revenge, and Sister Street Fighter, priced to own at only $9.98 each. Or bring home the complete Street Fighter box set collection for just $39.98. And for a limited time, get a free full-size, full-color Street Fighter poster when you buy the four-volume Street Fighter collection. Get your hands on the martial arts phenomenon on video for the first time ever. The collector's edition of The Street Fighter and the complete Street Fighter collection with free poster offer. On sale now exclusively from New Line Home Video. classic film with a unique difference. The strength of their missing limbs is transferred to their bodies to make them totally invincible. They become the crippled masters. They're handicapped by their limited knowledge of Kung Fu, never by their will. Crippled Masters. They are Frank Shun and Jack Kong. Also featuring the Yoga Grandmaster, Ho. You've never seen anything like it. The Crippled Masters from New Line Home Video. To millions of fans around the world, he's a living legend. If you've never seen him before... It's him! Give me that gun! You've never seen action. Oh. We got hostages! They're in a hovercraft! Call out the Coast Guard! New Line Cinema presents... The Action Hero... Who does all his own stunts. Jackie Chan. in the Bronx. And now, our feature presentation. Abelito. Okay. 
ke hora nyu petrom ko ezeke sha en takosh ko ezeke ya ni to ke ezeke to sho yu ko ko ezeke ko ezeke to ke ezeke Yeah, Sable. What is it? My grandfather is dead. You must bury him. Oh, dead. I... Abel. Abelito, ni patro ni oim kohcho. Eh me kaht tin. But you. The race, Abelito. 
It is run at dawn in the early spring, when the ditches are made clean and deep for the water. It is very cold, and the runners' bodies are bare. They gather at the holy place, to the south. There, you can see the summer house of the sun, where the sunrise breaks upon the saddle of the black mountain. The runners wait for it, and when it comes, they start. They run all the way to the village, all the way. The run is for good hunting and for harvests. It is a holy thing, I believe. And you must believe it too, Abuelito. Those who run are the life that flows in our people. killed a fellow Indian, an albino, an outcast from his own tribe. Yes, something like that, yes. Can you be more precise, Father? No, I can't. We're dealing with the psychology of witchcraft where a man can turn himself into an animal. A snake, for example. There's no way to be precise or objective about such a thing. What can I say? I believe that this man moved the way he did because of a an act of the imagination which was so compelling that which was so deeply ingrained in his culture as to be inconceivable to us yes interesting but not relevant let me remind you sir that you are under oath you are required to answer Answer. Answer. You killed another man. Why? Why? Abel, we feel it would be best for you if you were relocated in Los Angeles. My name is Millie. All right. We need to know your name, age, date of birth, place of birth, and military service. Tell us about the war, man. Where were you?
kill anyone? Hey, uh, listen, uh, we're going up to Paco's. You want to come? No. Not now. Maybe later. Are you guys going to be there? Where else? It's okay. We can do it later. Come on, I'll take you to the mission. Brothers and sisters, you have come here to live in the white man's world. Some not by choice, but relocated by the white man. Now, the white man deals in words, and he deals easily with grace and sleight of hand. And in his presence, here on his own ground, you are as children, mere babes in the wood. But you must not mind. For in this you have a certain advantage. Children have a greater sense of the power and beauty of language end of life. And if that is so, it is because there occurs or reoccurs in the mind of every child something like a reflection of all human experience. A child can listen and learn Now what true host? I said, muy bien. Now what true host? Diablo, Diablo. The word is sacred to a child. In the word was the beginning. In the beginning was the word. Amen. Good night, brothers and sisters. And get yours. Hey, Ben. Hi, Millie. Hi, Mona. Millicent, this is a Kiva medicine lodge. Pale faces aren't welcome. What are you doing later this evening? Oh, John. Ben, I'd like you to meet Abel. He just arrived this afternoon. Abel, John Tozema. Ben Bernal. John Big Bluff Tozema, priest of the sun, son of hummingbird. My card. Ben, Abel doesn't have a place to live yet. Do you suppose he could stay with you for a couple of days? Oh, sure, sure, yeah, it's, it's no problem. Uh, it's just a room, you know, it's, uh, it's not much, but, yeah. Thanks, Ben.
you miss one like that, hey, when you miss one like that, just go on, you know? Don't worry about it, man. It's like a, it's like a war dance or a 49, huh? Yeah, yo, ho, ha, yeah, yo, ho, ha, yeah, yo, ho, ha, yeah, you hell with your old man? Come on, Benelli! Benelli! What the hell is going on here? Oh, uh, we've been trying to catch up with these boxes here, sir. Bullshit. Oh, no, sir. We've been busy like the devil all morning. Bullshit. Well, ever since McDaniels quit, sir, we, we've been behind All right, behind that's enough, man. Benelli. I've had enough of your goddamn excuses. Yes, sir. I saw you screwing around. Screwing around on the job. Okay. I need six men to load some lumber. 65 cents an hour, two, maybe three days' work. Good work. Okay, uh, you, and you, and you, and you over there, sitting down. Uh, not you, old man. You never make the day. Hey, kid. Hey, I said you. Crazy engine. All right, you. <laughs> Screwing around on the job. One man short. Benelli, I'm 10, 20 men short, and I got a stack of orders up there about yay high. And we're going to fill every one of them. And on time, too, you're going to fill them. Well, you had better wish you had. And that goes for your little buddy here, too. Now move your fanny up in the machine. Come on. You the new man? The ex-con? Let me give you a little piece of advice, con. You keep your nose clean. Because I'm going to be watching you. It was all right, huh? It was good. Last night on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, those okies, they sure stepping it up, huh? <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. Good. It was really uh, good. Golly. <laughs> we sure had a good time, huh? Golly, it was good. <laughs> hey, hey, remember that big old stage girl, man? Huh? Really big old stage girl? Remember? <laughs> oh, she was looking out for you, man. Oh, she has some plans for you, you know? Yeah. She had plans for everybody. Oh, no, man, for you. <laughs> oh, man. Those zookies, they really need a social worker, man. They're an underprivileged bunch. Golly, they ain't got nothing but oil, money, and pot bellies. <laughs> pot bellies, <laughs> yeah. Oh, zookies. Golly. What happens? Huh? What do you mean, man? You know. Don't you ever want to go? Home? Hell no, man. There's nothing back there. A bunch of old people dying. Golly, man. When you're a kid, it's okay. Well, when you're little, you know, it's different.
inch a little, you don't know any better, I guess. <laughs> My old man. He takes out the sheep. Yeah. Doesn't make any difference, but he does it. gets up, she eats, takes out the sheep. He stay out there all day, man. All day. Come back late in the evening. Maybe he'll talk to some of the other old men, you know? I don't know why he doesn't. I don't know why he doesn't, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. Means a lot to you for me to ride in the chicken pool, doesn't it? Well, I hope I can. Get something from it. Ah, mera man. Si, patama. Sometimes, you know, I get to thinking about it. I, I remember things.
Hello, Finale. Yes, sir. Hello. We were just going home. Uh, do you need us for anything? See your hands, Benelli. Benelli, your hands are shaking. You got anything you'd like to give me? Who's your friend, Vanelli? His name is Abel. He's out of work, you know. He don't have no money. Let's see your hands. hands aren't shaking.
Hello, Finale. Yes, sir. Now you take this poor cat, this long hair lost. Man, why they gave you every advantage? They gave you a pencil box and a pair of shoes, didn't they? And they told you to get your ass to school. Well, sure, man, they de-loused him. They gave him a lot of free haircuts. And they even let him fight for him in Vietnam. <laughs> right on. <laughs> but was he grateful? Were you grateful? Hmm? <laughs> well, hell no, man, because he's too goddamn dumb to be civilized. So what happened? Well, I mean, they, they let him alone at last. See, they, they thought he was harmless. And they figured he was going to plant some beans and live off the fat of the land. You must embarrass the hell out of them. Because <laughs> you turned out to be a real primitive son of a bitch. I mean, first time you get your hands on a knife, you kill a man. Oh, I'm sorry, Snake. Hey, don't, don't put them hey, on like that, man. Well, that's what the cool cat it, said, man. right? Uh, hey, don't you have uh, any idea what this cat said? A snake, right? You killed a goddamn snake. Sure, that corpus delecti there, he threatened to turn himself into a snake, for Christ's sakes, and rattle around. How about that, man? time now. Who you are. All right. I'll show you who I am.
Can you imagine what went on in that trial? He killed a man, a member of his own tribe. You're the noble savage, man. Cold, sober, sound mind. That cotton-picking judge, he was looking on. Not relevant. And the prosecutor, he's trying to talk sense to this dumb, degenerate Indian. Fact. We're interested in facts. I mean, tell us about it, man, but uh, son, give it to us straight this time. And you say, uh, well, your honors, is like I said, I just cut me up a little bit of snake meat there in the sand. Who's that? Diablo. And they put you away for seven years. They had to, man. I mean, that's, that's all part of the Jesus scheme. See, they, they were cutting off our balls and putting us away before we were born. But you can fight back, man. You can fight back if you want to. One of these nights, there's going to be a full red moon, a hunter's moon, and we're going to find ourselves a wagon train full of women and children. Well, you may not believe that, man. But I drink to that now and then. I'm going out again tomorrow, Millie. And I'm going to find a job. You bet. You'll find a job. You'll find a good job if you keep looking. Sometimes it's hard. Once when I was a little kid, my father was fencing off a lot behind the barn. And I ran into a strand of barbed wire. Cut myself across the chest. Here. I can still see the scars. father picked me up and held me. My father loved me. He could never say it. But I knew it. He loved me in a desperate sort of way. It wasn't any laughter to it at all. He 
He told me I had to leave. He said, you've got to get away. His eyes were wild. He dreamed about that. He gave me the money he'd been saving for 17 years. And we walked to Fletcher's farm. And daily Fletcher drove us to the railroad in his father's truck. When the train came, Daddy handed me the suitcase. When I took it, I touched his hand. It was big, sunburned, and scarred, gnarled like a root. It smelled of the earth. I said, bye, Daddy. That's all. Bye, Daddy. You know? When I do find a good job, Then maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, you and I, and Ben, maybe we can go to the beach again. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather Peyote, the vegetal representation of the sun.
I just want to say thanks, one and all. I just want to pray right out loud for world peace and brotherly love. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen. Crazy for you to be with us, poor Indians. We've been bad a long time ago. Just, just raise it hell and and kill each other all the time. That's why you abandon us. Turn your back on us. Now, we pray to you for help. Help us. We've been suffer like hell a long time now. Long time ago, we throw it in the towel. Golly, we want to be friends with white men. Now, now I talk to you, great spirit. Hear me what I'm say tonight. I'm. I'm sad because we die. Our old people, they gone now. Oh. <laughs> Our children, they need your help pretty damn bad, Great Spirit. They got no respect no more, you know. They are become lazy. No good for nothing drunkards. Thank you.
There are blue and purple horses. Ah. House made of dawn. House made of evening light. Go ahead, brother. Pray. Go ahead. Go on, brother. I... Weighed 200 pounds. <laughs> Big now, old girl. <laughs> oh, I got a good song. I got a good one. Let me figure it out. <laughs> I got to think of it. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait a minute, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah
Save our money up and get some bus fare to go out to Pomona. Go to that pow out there, you know? That's gonna be a good one. Anali? Yeah? Why'd that cop rough us up like that? I don't know. Maybe because he's a cop and we're Indians, you know? Like cowboys and Indians? Bang, bang! <laughs> huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to take that kind of stuff. Yeah, well. You know, we could do something about that. We ought to do something about it. Yeah? Well, we could, uh, we could scalp them. <laughs> but somehow I think they know who did it. <laughs> or we could complain, you know. We could say, hey, you know, you guys, that Officer Martinez, a guy like that could cause an uprising. <laughs> oh, and we really get shit next time Martinez comes around, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Abel, I know what you're thinking. Hello, Abel. What's the matter, boy? You looking for trouble? Drunk again, huh? Maybe you've got something you'd like to give me?
Golly, look at all the lights down there. Uh, hey man, what are you, what are you gonna do now? You could, you could go back There's nothing for me back there. Man, there's nothing for you here. You're here, Millie. It's, it's just that maybe you need some more time, Abel. You know? This place here, man, everything's going so fast. Oh, it looks good, man, I know, but lots of people and lots of excitement, and good money, good clothes. But everything's going so fast, man. You know, Abel, if you don't just grab and hold on, and hold on, Abel, it just passes you by. Can't hold on, Benali. There's nothing here to hold on to. Go home, Abel. Let me hear from you now sometime, huh, Abel? Don't forget now. Is 
Come again, Benali. What's it going to be like? Well, you know, sometime, uh, sometime, you know, we'll meet out there and get drunk. We'll go out. We'll go out real early. Real early in the morning sometime. Way out someplace in the land. And we'll just see how it's out there, you know? And, uh... We'll go out, uh, Way out on the mesa somewhere. sunrise on the land. See how it is out there? How it always was. And uh, we'll sing the old songs, you know? Real old songs. And we'll get drunk. And it'll be for the last time. And, uh, And we'll get, uh, we'll get drunk together, you know, and we'll sing and and we'll just see how it is, how the sun comes up on the world. And it will be for the last time, maybe. And it will be beautiful the way it used to be, the way it always was.
Abelito. Ora è nata così. Nyanis trubai nati. Abelito. Once, a long time ago, I ran on the road at dawn. I ran with all my strength. I ran until my whole body seemed to burst open with pain. And I did not think that I could go on. And then the pain was gone. And still I was running. And something was running with me. And in me. And that year, the fields were full of grain. And that year, I killed seven bucks and seven does. Those who run are the life that flows in our people.